What's going on everybody, Josh here with Scrapyard Films. Today I got another Vegas effects tutorial for you, and in this one I'm going to be showing you how to use the clone stamp tool to remove objects in your video. If you're into gaming or streaming, be sure to check out Scrapyard Plays, and if you want to see behind the scenes cinematography, vlogs, and a bunch of other stuff that I do, check out Crayhen Vlog. Both those links are in the description below. So using the clone stamp tool inside Vegas Effects, you can actually selectively mask and take sections of video to copy and paste it over other sections of your video. This can be utilized for removing the little marks and scruffs and walls, outlets, little things like that. Even the little X marks on green screens, you can remove those by clone stamping them. So let's jump into Vegas Effects and check it out. All right, so we have Vegas Effects open right here. I'm gonna drag and drop a clip into my media bin and then drag it on my timeline. I'm gonna shrink this real fast. And now let's take a look at this clip. This is gonna be my wall with three tape points on here that we're gonna mask out and just make vanish. Now to do that, we're gonna start with the top point right here, and then we'll repeat the process so we can get rid of the middle tape and the bottom tape. So to start this off, we wanna track this top tape right here. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. I'm gonna select my video clip right here in the timeline, open up the tree, go to tracks and hit the plus sign. This opens some tracking data for me. And I'm gonna take this and drag it over the tape right here. I'm gonna widen it a little, and I want to fully engulf my piece of tape, just like that. And then we could shrink this a little bit. This red area is what the tracker is looking for. And this green area is the field it's going to be searching for this marker in. So once I got it where I want, I'm going to go ahead and hit the play button. And that's going to go ahead and track this every single frame. You may have to manually adjust this track if you have quick movements in your camera. But other than that, for the most part, this tracker does a really good job. All right, now that it's done, we need to apply this tracking data to a point. So we go down to new layer and we do point. Don't worry if the screen turns black. You just need to go to the viewer window and then your screen turns back to normal. We're going to rename this new point top point. And if we select our video clip again and go to our tracker over here on the right hand side in the track field under apply to layer, we're going to choose the layer and choose top point and then hit apply. And now all this tracking data just got pasted onto our top point. If we select our point, we can see all the data right here. So now that we got it tracked, we need to choose what we wanna paste over this piece of tape. And what we're gonna do is choose a piece of the wall right beside it. To do that, we need to make a new layer and we're gonna choose plane. And we're gonna call this top tape. We could take one of the corners and drag it smaller, but we're basically gonna use this plane as a selecting area. So I'm gonna use this plane to select the area I wanna paste over this piece of tape. So we wanna make sure it's gonna at least engulf the tape right here. So this looks pretty good to me, maybe right about here. So I'm basically selecting the area below the piece of tape and we're gonna paste it over the piece of tape. Next thing you wanna do is take your plane and parent it to your point. So we're gonna click none and then choose top point. So now if we play, we could see this plane isn't moving. It's right under the tape perfectly. Next thing is we're gonna go over to our effects tab, search the effects, type clone, and do clone stamp and drag that onto our video. If we go to our controls tab over here, we can see all the controls for our video instead of doing it all down here. I'm gonna drop down the clone stamp tree, drop down all the menus of it, and we're gonna take a look at this. For clone mask, we wanna select the plane that we're going to be using as our selector. So I'm gonna drop this down and choose top tape, which is our plane. Mask blur, you can increase this and decrease this to feather the edges of the selection. Clone from, we're gonna keep this at current layer and frame. You can choose the current layer it's landing on or a selected layer later in the video. But for the most accuracy for dynamic footage, current layer and frame is the best option. Under source, we see position. We're not gonna mess with that right here, but we are gonna use a layer to change its position. So for the layer, we're gonna be choosing top tape again. So the source of where we're cloning is coming from top tape. Target, we're gonna use this layer, drop it down, and we're gonna choose top point. So we're gonna be pasting our masked area over our point area, which we have tracked to the tape. So we choose top point. All of a sudden, everything in here is pasted over here. Now we hide our top tape plane, then we're good to go. All we're left with is our cloned area. So we move it forward and back. It looks perfect. There's nothing wrong with that. That is a fantastic looking vanishing act. Now once you've done this once, you can easily do it again by copy and pasting a lot of the attributes. So we can speed by and do the middle and the bottom tape now. So to do that, I'm gonna do two more points, layer, point, rename it, middle point, new layer, point, rename it, bottom point. I'm gonna drag those under here for organizational purposes. Top tape plane, we're gonna duplicate that. Control D, rename this, middle tape. Control D again, rename it, bottom tape. 
We're going to select our video, drop it down, select tracks. We're going to add a new track. And what we want to do is track this tape now too. So I'm going to take my red area, drag it open, make sure it fully engulfs this tape, bring my green area a little wide, hit play. Once it's done, under apply to layer, choose the layer. We're going to choose this one, middle point for the middle tape. Hit apply. All right. Now we go back down to tracks, hit the plus sign again. Now we're going to make a track for our bottom tape. Let's widen it a little bit. You always got to make sure to bring your cursor all the way to the very first frame because you want to start tracking it from the beginning. Once it's in position, hit play. And once it's done, go to the layer under apply to layer and we're going to choose bottom point. Hit apply and we're done tracking. So let's collapse this. Let's go back to the viewer tab. So for the middle tape, I want to go over to the parenting portion and I want to parent it to the middle point. And then bottom tape, I'm going to parent that to the bottom point. Now if I select my video, I'm going to collapse these. I'm going to rename clone stamp to clone stamp top so I'm not confused. Hit control D to duplicate it. Rename this one, middle. Control D, rename this one, bottom. And now we just change a couple of the attributes. If we drop down and see what the middle attributes are, we're going to open them all. And we're going to change top tapes to middle tapes and top points to middle points. So top tape, middle tape, top tape, middle tape, top point, middle point. Now it's successfully cloned wherever middle tape is landing on. So if we select middle tape, we can see it's way over here. So if we drag this around, we can get it somewhere really close to this. And there we go, blends right in. Same thing with bottom tape. If we select the video, collapse the middle clone stamp area, drop down the bottom clone stamp, all of them, select top tape, and we're gonna choose bottom tape, select top tape, bottom tape, in this layer, and top point, and we're gonna choose bottom point. And now it has successfully cloned over this piece of tape wherever bottom tape is. So if we select bottom tape, we can see it's up here. We can just drag this around until it looks perfect, which looks really good right about there to me. So let's go ahead and see a before and after comparison. And that successfully wraps up this cloning process. And there you go. You now know how easy it is to use the clone stamp tool inside Vegas Effects. If this video helped you out, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button on my channel because that'll really help me out. So thanks again for watching everybody and I'll see y'all in the next video. And I want to give a special shout out to all of my subscribers up there at the top. Be sure to check out their channels for some awesome content.